Welcome to A Dude's Nerdery. The Office Nerdery's Spidey and Friends Marvel Legends display is in need of a redesign. The recently acquired Deluxe Thanos has provided a lot of motivation to add a cosmic corner with him as the obvious focal point. I love having Spidey with his amazing villain centered as the highlight of this display. Let's separate out any cosmic figures, then move the remaining figures over to the left side near the Venom section along with a couple new additions I have here on my desk. Super cool figure that gets hidden in that corner of the display. He scales really large too. I think it's such a cool version of the Beetle. Gotta find a better spot for him. Now the right corner of the Spidey and Friends display is a blank slate for me to build my cosmic corner, highlighted by Thanos. I think I'm gonna build up this corner using the large five inch risers. They're wider and sit the tallest in the display, and then I can layer it from there. Third one fits in, but definitely not enough space for another one of these in the corner. So now the question is, do I try to fit something small in this corner here? Do I leave that open maybe for a larger figure? Or do I move this over and have this section open there? This is my tallest rectangle shape acrylic riser. So I can slide it in right here and then pose figures on it coming out this way or put it right there and again have figures kind of coming out in a lineup that way. What are you guys thinking? How do you guys think that would look? I added four of my largest rectangle acrylic risers to build a platform. Added another platform for these Venom figures so they could be seen better. Then slightly adjusted Poison, Venom, and Carnage in the corner. And then there was enough room to wedge Stiltman in behind this acrylic and remove his foot base so I can use that somewhere else. Alright man, I'm starting to make some good progress layering in villains to my Venom display. And then coming over here we have both of my She-Hulks as well as Iron Punisher. Still have quite a bit of work to do. Making good process. Added War Machine, but I did take off his blast off effects just because I had to make some consolidations for space. Still looks great with all those effects on him though. There's the All White Moon Knight, Armored Moon Knight, Black Cat, Silver Sable, Spider Woman, Hand Ninja, Frog Man, all coming together. And then Spidey vs. Kingpin is still the main event. Pretty crowded on this side, and I'm probably gonna have to make some cuts. So I think Beetle might be one to go. And I was actually looking to see if there's a way I could hang her from up here and maybe have her just dangling down. And look what I found. <laughs> Anyone who watched Three Men and a Monkey Lizard uh, last week is gonna get a kick out of this, but I found three Russell Stover uh, chocolate-covered marshmallows uh, that I hid in a stash up here. <laughs> so uh, I I'm gonna have some treats while I finish off this display. We have 14 Marvel Legends cosmic figures sitting here on my desk. I'm gonna now take and place them up in my cosmic corner display highlighted by Thanos. I've been sitting on Death's head for a while and I thought I could open him up and make him the 15th figure for the display. Dude, he is so cool. Check out that cyborg like cannon arm with like knives shooting out of it. He's got a little bit of a cyborg arm on his left arm too. And then look at that face sculpt. Dude, so cool. Ah, he's gonna look awesome with the rest of the cosmic figures. He's a big boy too, man. Look at how well he scales with Thanos. Acrylic risers are in place. Let's build a Marvel Legends cosmic display. legitimately thrilled at how well the Marvel Legends cosmic display turned out. Death's Head 2 exceeds expectations and looks fantastic sandwiched between the Obsidian Surfer and Thanos. The cosmic figures are some of my favorites. Now Beta Ray Bill, 
Janice Fell, Lady Sif, Monica Rambeau, and others get their chance to shine in this new part of my display. I'm really pleased with how the rest of the display turned out. I'm really enjoying the raised Venom figures in the back, layering of the villains, and Spidey's amazing friends. Beetle 3, War Machine, Moon Knight, the Hand Ninja, and Black Cat keep catching my eye whenever I look over to that part of the display. The highlight of the display is still Spidey vs. Kingpin with Doom, Mysterio, Green Goblin, and Mad Jack just ready to pounce. I'm starting to accept I'm running out of room on this top shelf, but thankfully there's still plenty of room for more X-Men below. This entire process took about three hours and was a joyous afternoon of zen. I hope you all had a great time building the display with me. I really appreciate you watching. Please let me know in the comments which figures were your favorites. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to join the noble quest of building this action figure collection. See you real soon.